As the debts mount in Greece, so does rotting rubbish. The bin men are now back at work after nearly three weeks on strike, but the government doesn't have the cash to pay any overtime. It'll take weeks to clear up. This may be the most visible manifestation of the problems facing Greece at the moment, but the most serious issues are the hidden ones. The austerity measures are not just affecting the most vulnerable in Greek society, they're now beginning to have an impact on the middle class as well. People like Satiris Grisis. His pension's already been slashed. Now, after this week's austerity measures, he'll lose another 20%. Tax increases and rising prices add to the squeeze. As one of the founders of PASOK, the ruling socialist party, he can barely contain his fury. I am PASOK. They obviously are not. They are something completely alien. They may as well be from the moon or from Saturn. The government didn't predict this crisis. They didn't plan well and they failed the Greek people with their negotiations. I will fight to remove them from power. If it's a struggle for Satyrus, it's humiliating for Yanis. Greek-born, he's taking his young child to a charity clinic set up for asylum seekers because he can't afford the state hospitals. This is the first time I've come here. I was self-employed until recently, but I lost my business because of the financial crisis. This was the only clinic to accept us free of charge. Just five years ago, I was taking my kids to the top paediatricians in the country. So you can see how far I've dropped now. This is not an unusual case. 5% of those seeking free medicines and treatment at the clinic were Greek. That's now rocketed to 30%. Resources are stretched. Quite a lot they are, that they are unemployed, they don't have any social security, so they cannot find any free medicines. Uh, but they're not only the medicines. Uh, we find it, and it was a surprise to us, that they keep asking even for food items. And it, it's a surprise because we thought that we have finished with this kind of poverty in the country, but it seems to be back. It helps to explain this week's violence. On average, wages have dropped by a third. Unemployment among 16 to 24-year-olds stands at 42%. Recorded suicides have doubled in a year. It's an explosive mix. So they're watching the summit closely. They want to know how much worse it's going to get. Apostolos Siokas, a PhD student and council leader, has considered packing his bags. A lot of times. Uh, I'm a fighter. I want to give uh, my battle here in Greece to change people, but uh, if uh, I can't afford it, I can't live my life that I have been uh, dreamed, yeah, I will go abroad. Another round of strikes could be called next week, and a punishing property tax hasn't even hit the doormat. It's unlikely the summit will ease the mood here, one of anger, fear and frustration.